Okay, the person who um, is still alive, one of the brothers from the Boston Marathon bombing suspect, um, has pleaded not guilty, not guilty to the charges of injuring people, um, killing people, and all that sort of stuff. They say that his appearance looked very unkept, you know, long sort of scruffy hair, hair um, swollen, his face. I'm not sure what medicines he'd probably be on for them to be swollen. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's that's what I think happened. Um, but anyway, he's pleaded not guilty. They they think that at the courthouse they're going to have it very highly guarded. There's going to be the victims, the media, and police in there. Um, I'm not sure if they're all going to just be witnessing or giving evidence. But for now, he's pleaded not guilty. Um, and as he left the courtroom, as I was reading, he spoke some words in Russia or in Russian. Um, and they say that his sister was there sobbing on someone's shoulder or crying out loudly on someone's shoulder. Um, I know the information I'm giving is very short and brief and... Um, you know, sort of not in full great detail, but you know, this is the Boston um, Marathon bombers, where the two brothers set off these pressure cookers, as we were told. Um, one died in a shootout, the other one still survived, but he survived with injuries as he was hiding out in a boat, of all things. So anyway, I just wanted you to know that um, he's pleaded not guilty, Men's Health TV.